Lots of people seem to have stopped talking about Casper. That doesn't mean that it isn't still going to be one of the biggest winners of 2024. We're going to break it down for you all in this video. So welcome to the 2-Bit Crypto channel. If you're not already subscribed, do consider hitting that subscribe button. We talk about cryptocurrency and innovation in this space every single day. And if you want to see more Casper content, all you got to do is smash that like button and turn your notification bell on so you know when we go live and upload our most latest content. And with that being said, let's take a look at the overall cryptocurrency market. So we've just got into a new day here in the UK. We kind of don't know where we're going to go. That feels like the honest answer at the minute. Bitcoin around 42.5, dumped from 42.8. We broke 43 yesterday uh, and has pulled back. Ethereum doing something very similar. The whole market down to a 1.67 trillion dollar market cap. Now, Casper was a top 30 cryptocurrency at one point, has pulled back to the 36th highest ranked cryptocurrency right now, but three key metrics are starting to see. Good news on the price, up 3%. Our market cap up 65 and volume, more importantly, up 70%. And we're actually seeing Casper booking the trend. Why? People, again, are looking at Casper in a different light. We obviously have the Rusty upgrade coming, the TN11 upgrade as well, as people start to understand exactly what is about to be unlocked when it comes to Casper. I've talked a while now on my channel that Casper, as well as XRP, they need a big catalyst. They need something to come out to ignite the fuel once again in people's bellies when it comes to Casper, but they have had a big year. Casper itself has had a massive year, and I thought it was a really good medium article here that I just wanted to kind of cover off a few key points back in summer june to august when we saw the big breakout for casper more importantly we did see casper hit a record 10 blocks per second on their test net and if you remember my previous video you could see exactly what that looked like absolutely insane speed and scalability in july and august they were both pivotal for casper in the sense that they crowdfunded the campaign for a tier one cryptocurrency exchange and integrated onto now payments now obviously we've seen things like shiba inu and everything else integrate with now payments it opens accessibility to this coin. Also, the release of the Book of Casper in July offered a comprehensive look at the tech and budding ecosystem. And that's the important bit with Casper. That's what differentiates it with everything else. It's the block DAG versus the blockchain. Very important. It allows massive scalability, huge transactional speed, and a fraction of the cost. Fast forward September to November, we start to see forks of the Casper network. So we see Caspian version one come out. And again, a significant milestone as we start to see a crypto usability tool as well as the narrative around relentless pursuit of innovation. I think Casper is on the absolute forefront of innovation when it comes to cryptocurrency. We also therefore saw the Casper advancement and equally wrapped Casper and that bridge to the Polygon and BNB network. Again, absolutely not so. Now remember, there isn't a core central development team. This is completely decentralized and ultimately driven by the community. And I think that is always important to reference. If you look to December, what does it look like? Well, let's again talk a little bit about what it is. From nitty gritty of ASIC integration to the grow grassroots organic initiatives have given our ecosystem some real I think this is the point right now. We saw this massive rise up with Casper. We've been talking about it on the channel for what feels like forever. We have seen this consolidation. We saw a lot of tier ones coming, a lot of interest in it, and it's just cool. That's not a bad thing. That gives opportunity to start to build fundamentals into the chain and equally allow people to get in at a different price. Obviously, a lot of people take profits, and I highly recommend doing that. But when we look at Casper at 11 cents versus when we started talking about it back in two cent range, then significantly up on price. And a lot of people are going to be looking to maybe exit a position or equally we're looking for that new investor to come in that's why we need a big big push in terms of new innovation that's coming out and i think that's very very important to talk about now what's really interesting is when you take a look at actually what's happening a lot of people fading casper a lot of people kind of in the world of is it done is it going to be the big thing well here's the reality you cannot buy a casper miner right now these are sold out yes you could argue i can get a casper is uh, ks0 pro for 429 but all the big ones all the big casper miners making significant daily returns for anyone who has them are sold out what does that tell you it tells you people are still bullish i as well as my community and shout out to crypto j mine casper on this channel we have two ks zero miners you might know from previous videos i've talked about this currently this is mining for us we've been running now for probably a getting on for two or three months total reviewed 707 dollars back so far as well as a bit we did before so we're not a million miles from breaking even albeit probably slightly longer than we wanted it to 
But at the same time, this is about a hold for us. We are holding long term as are a lot of people buying these miners. That tells you that people are still extremely bullish on Casper and what it has. Moreover, people talking about it in the same realms of Ethereum. It says here, Casper solidified its position of one of the fastest rising cryptos this year, surging more than 2,000% to that 11 cent range. Digital ledger design facilities, parallel blocks, and faster transaction confirmation on Casper. Transactions are settled in a single second period using the platform's native token, KAS or CAS. Casper verifies transactions via a secure block network while maintaining the network decentralization. Secure, fast, decentralized. What more do you want when it comes to cryptocurrency? And I think that's why Casper has an incredibly bright future coming up ahead of it. Really important to reference. So what's going on with the price? It's always worthwhile keeping an eye on it. And the market, like I said, doesn't really know what it wants to do. Casper, however, is looking to retest on this volume price range. We're looking for a breakthrough here. We got a good day yesterday. Solid from the 10.5 range, topping out at that 11.4 and held into the new day here just marginally down 0.1 but looking like we might be setting up for a breakout key resistance level around this 11.4 range we've got a little bit to get to but above this volume price indicator we might start to see a good push up on casper if we don't i'm still in it long term a lot of metrics looking like they are about to move especially when we start to move out into the longer term time frames you can see there's that big rally up on the weekly chart that you would expect so you would expect some sort of consolidation some sideways movement before another big move coming up with casper but as ever let me know in the comments down below what do you think are you still bullish on casper did you sell and move on i'm always interested to know and if you want to see more content like this all you gotta do is smash the like button and subscribe to the channel as ever thank you so much for watching the video see you guys in the next one Bye bye